Jeez. All right, what's going on, y'all? So in today's video, we're using this, uh, basically the team that I was planning on using for the Global Challenge 2. Uh, it turned out that I was moving at the time where the Global Challenge 2 happened, so I didn't get to play the Global Challenge at all. Uh, kind of sad. Um, it's fine, though. I, I think this team is just about where it needs to be. There's some really small micro adjustments that could be made, uh, but I really like how the team turned out. So if we talk about the team really quick, uh, some of the choices that I made, I went for Flying Terra Fluttermane so that with Choice Band Landorus, we can do uh, Flying Terra Icy Wind plus Earthquake. Uh, another way to get around that, I don't know, would, would just... I mean, technically beat around Focus Sash Fluttermane, right? But, like, then you don't get the speed boost, which defeats the purpose, right? So, like, for this specific interaction, you actually do need the Flying Terra if you want to be able to do that. But um, one of the things that I did realize is that, like, potentially it would be just better to just run um, Fairy Terra and to accept that you're not going to be able to do that type of thing. And if you do, you're just going to probably one-shot your own Fluttermane. So, like, you know, um, it works. It can work, you know. But, like, if you really need the Icy Wind, uh, I mean, you can technically start Tornadus. Then you're just not breaking a Sash, right? So, like, if you need to break a Sash and get off Icy Wind, Earthquake, like, that's what you're doing, right? Um, but... The other small adjustments, I mean, I like Grass Terra on our Chaladon because it makes the Earthquake not very effective whilst making it, I mean, it can still give you a defense boost, right? So, like, if your defense boosted up enough, the Earthquake is just not even going to make a difference, right? So, like, you're helping yourself and, uh, the you know, the Grass Terra works, right? So... Uh, we also have a Life Orb Dragonite, which I found is really nice as a secondary Earthquake user, as well as being able to put on really good damage while uh, actually being able to switch moves on like a normal Choice Band Dragonite. So, uh, really fun stuff. The only other thing that I was thinking about with the team is maybe taking like Protect off of Tornadus or Sunny Day off of, you know what I'm saying, taking off Taunt or Sunny Day for Protect. <laughs> maybe even Icy Wind, because if we have Icy Wind Tornadus, kind of solves some of the problems that we were dealing with, right? But um, in general, you know, I think the team turned out the way that it needed to, and I, I don't really plan on making any more adaptions to it. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the team, uh, enjoy the matches, and thank you for the support as always, as well as for being patient while I... You know, took a few days off to, to move and stuff, so let's jump over to the matches. Alright, Pilgore. That's a tough guy team. That's a super tough guy team. I think... I think we have to do this. <laughs> with Big Robbie Schneids This is a cool team Cool team, cool card. That was a hard card. That card was hard. <laughs> Dean Tail. You would toof it up, Dean McGee. Okay. Um. Room of Tricks. Quick the earth. No, 
was pretty hard. Yeah, it did make that. Maybe we'll bring something good out then. Like Arch. A whole lot of Arch in the dark. <laughs> okay, um, let's click Moonblast, and let's click, how do you say it? I mean, it's a puffball, like, you can't tell me this thing is, is bulky. <laughs> it's a, it is a puffball. They have Grass Terra. I mean, well, it is bulky, but I, I, I'm hoping that it dies from Moonblast. That's what I'm trying to say. Or, I mean, Heavy Slam. Okay. <laughs> like, we know it's bulky, okay? We know that. Um. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Jeez. I think this is a good plan. Let's hope we KO. <laughs> we freeze them. Jeez. We do hit the Draco though, which ooh actually doesn't KO. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's click Ice Beam, and let's click... Alright, so, so that was always gonna happen, um, which is good. for Leech Seed on Arch for whatever reason. Because they're using an Ivysaur. <laughs> um, we go for Lunar Blessing. We go for Snarl again. Yeah, I mean, because technically we have ways to win this, like, yeah. I just feel like you do know what's happening, right? Like, <laughs> you do know what I'm doing, right? Hmm. 
I think this is fun. Wow, that did like nothing. Because we have a lot of uh, special defense and we lowered them with Snorl. Crits for the boys. They're definitely trying, though. Okay. Um. I feel good about this, but I do know that we have to still play well. Um. Let's just do this. And then let me turn down my TV because it's distracting me. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> What a game. Whole lot of arch in the darch, my game. That will get us back to Ultra Ball to you, though. <laughs> hearing like a like a clinking sound in my audio but like I can't actually turn it up to tap to like check it <laughs> is there a clinking sound in my audio Let me know. But we're playing this. I, I mean, I respect what they're doing, right? But we're playing this as well as we need to. to respect it though like you have to respect it <laughs> all right I'm listening to the audio to see if it's messed up There you go, GG's. <laughs> they were like, they were like, hold on. <laughs> they were like, I've seen me win this. Oh, the audio seems good though, I don't know. 
expanding horse. Hmm. I actually just am not sure how to play this one. Because I could just start torn Lando. But yeah. So technically, I should have started. Special attack, yeah. I didn't start the right thing. I should have started Flutter, uh, Flutter, um, Landers. <laughs> Lake one. Getting your Game Boy, nice. Good. Game Boy Advance is tight. We should just lose though. Yeah. Um. We'll see. It depends on how slow they are. But based on the fact that they got a special attack boost, I think there's actually a chance that we'll be faster than them. So they go fighting, that's a little scary I guess, but um scary. We are first, big. Expanding force. Alright. Let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Because I kind of just need to sack, right? Which isn't good. I think I can do this. 
that's a little rough. Hopefully... Ooh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Okay, that's, that's, ooh. <sighs> Okay, that's what I needed. <coughs> Excuse me, but this is kind of bad. Okay, um, so we have to go for Trick Room. That's pretty bad. But a lot of Flutter Mains are not running Shadow Ball. Oh, they do. Okay. GG's. We live? That they go for E-Force. Alright, GG's. Um... I needed to go for the... I needed to go for the Body Press instead of the Heavy Slam. Which is why I lost. If they were locked into Shadow Ball and I could Terra Normal and live in E-Force, we could live. Or I mean win. But right now, we just have to go for this and hope that it does something. But it should. Yeah, GG's. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a nice arch. Shiny arch. I didn't play well, though. I, like, I had... Um, I had one play I needed to make differently, basically, which was a uh, guaranteed double KO that one turn, and then we could have won. So they had to get a double KO to stop me from getting into a winning position. Uh, at least I think so, yeah. More expanding horse. That's kind of scary. Um... And also because, like, do I start Cress, right? Like, do I just start Cress? Um, go, like, Cress Landorus, right? Um, is that actually good? <laughs> Cress Landorus, Arch in the Darch. This feels appropriate. Yeah, because they're just gonna spike you. <coughs> Excuse me.
It's fine. Let's go for TR. And then... I don't think we're playing this perfectly, but I'm trying. That I expect. I expect them to be, uh, huh, why would you do that? Okay, I mean, I, like, because you're expecting me to be slower, but. <laughs> right, they were like, they were like, hold on, you clicked Trick Room, so, but like, actually, you're slow, so. You should have expected that kind of, uh. A lot of arch in the dark. I actually like Dragonite. D D D. Let's uh. Technically, this isn't the right play, <clears throat> but it's not a terrible play. What I should have done is not switched out Cresselia, and I should have gone for Ice Beam, Ice Spinner, but they should... Why would you click Follow Me? Yeah, so they're just gonna um, switch into Iron Crown. Or I mean, I'm I'm gonna, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> words. I switched into Arch. They switched in Iron Crown. We're game. We go for Schnorl. We go for this. <clears throat> This should be fun. Sorry, and I, I know I, I I'm probably not doing very good commentary today, but <laughs> it's uh it's the first it's the first round of matches in a while, you know. We are chilling here. We go for ice spinner. We do some. We go for snarl. We do some. Nice. <laughs> we love their special attack. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ooh, that's some damage. Okay, um... I'm not a hundred percent sure how I need to play this, but I have an idea.
Um, there's no reason to lock in Earthquake. That was actually my bad. I should have just locked in Stomping. We do live. We go for Earthquake. We knock out Crown. That's GG's. Alright, nice. So let's see. Um. Yeah, just dimensions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing they can do, right? Like, you're facing down our Chaldon, which has Snarl and Assault Vest. What up, Felipe? We are winning here. They're trying. We are back, though. We are back. Thank you. Hope you and well. Ooh, yes, they're definitely trying. But it's not gonna work. Archer voids. We go for snow. We go for ice beam. Winter blessing. So again. <laughs> uh, the plight. The freaking plight of the of the bleakling. It's funny though, you gotta admit. Yeah, GG's. <laughs> oh, man. I do think we could have won that last one, though, if we had just uh, 